What the fuck Tyler Perry got going on? And even Monique looked mad as fuck. I think about Cody. This whole scene is chaos. Who died at the hands of violence, and I think about his brothers yet alive. I believe if he were able, he would want you to have a chance to get your life right with God. Y'all need to repent. A chance for you not to go the way of your older brother. What you been telling your pops about my family? You saying my boy's in hell? You better shut your mouth up judging my boy. Oh. Miss Linda, you have made this town miserable because you didn't raise your boys right. Your vagina's cursed. This boy is in this casket shortly after getting out of prison because he tried to rob an elderly member of this church and she shot him dead. Oh, sound like he fucked around and found out. Yeah, right. Boys, get Cody. Get Cody? Fuck you mean? Come on, boy. Yeah. <laughs> what? Get him! They getting him. Relax your shit. No! Not the casket. Excuse me? Take him out. They trying to figure out what evil Monique talking about. Take him out of there. What are you going to say we're going to get him out Take of there? Take him out of there. Whoa, chill, chill, chill. In the first seven minutes of this movie alone, a lot has been checked off on the Tyler Perry checklist. Angry black woman, check. The church and Jesus, check. Mentally unstable black man, check. Angry black man, check. Abusive black man, check. The only thing that's missing is the light-skinned gardener that just got out of jail. <laughs> Yo, so we back in here for another edition of your mother And that was a snippet of Tyler Perry's new movie on Prime Called The Black, The Divorce in the Black Now, I don't know if that's a spinoff of Catcher in the Rye But we gonna get to the nitty gritty The Gee, the logistics or why that was a whack ass movie I watched it And the only thing good about this shit Is that I got to see somebody I know My man's was in this shit right here You know what I'm saying? Y'all salute him He doing his thing out here But Tyler Perry's movie was trash because it got a 0% Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> now, I'm going to try to go through this like Telemundo as to why this movie was the trashiest movie I've ever seen. It was a bad movie, not even from a black filmmaker standpoint. It was a bad movie from this filmmaking in general. It was a fucking, it was a debacle. It was like, it was just a hot pile of garbage. Um... It's the reason why white people in the 90s didn't want to make black movies. Because this movie didn't know what the fuck it wanted to be. I didn't know it started off as a comedy. Then it developed into a drama. Then it turned into a thriller. Then it turned back into a comedy. It was just too many things about this movie. That was just, it, it didn't follow a formula. Other than it being some buffoonery shit. And white people like to see tra trauma based movies when it's pertaining to black people. This shit was like making good try, but she's a bad actress. My man, he looked like one of them broke ass Cosby kids that she was married to. He, he was a bad actor. My man, did he couldn't even, his cussing wasn't even believable. The big buff nigga that she got with, oh yeah, by the way, the spoiler alert. So if you ain't seen this, you might want to turn this shit off. The big buff dude, Benji, that she got with. He was a bad actor. Everybody in this movie seemed like they had just started off acting. They had no acting chops. They was trash. The only person that was like halfway believable was the mom. But Tyler Perry wasn't shit because he made the mom look like Monique from Precious. Like, like he, he was trying to take a dig at the bitch. It's one thing you ain't casting in your films and y'all ain't getting, on, getting along. But you gonna have a dead ringer for her. You could have just casted her and saved the money. I guess he was just trying to stick it to her one last time. Um, but this plot line in the movie was stupid. It should have been over when they got a divorce. But he tried to take it to uh, Jennifer Lopez route in enough. And the fight scene with her and the boyfriend. It was uh, or her and her ex-husband. It was unbelievable. Uh, what else? The sex scene was trash. My man, she was like just from a character standpoint. He has so many character flaws. One would ask, why the fuck did she even marry him? Now, it says that they was together since they was 17. But it was literally like she was the picture perfect wife. And he was like a born fuck up. So the fact that she stayed with him made no sense. Like it literally kept going on and on and on for no reason. Like as soon as he started acting up, she should have just left him. It shouldn't even got to the point where he was divorcing her at the restaurant. Like the 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 the, the fucking funeral. 
was a good starting point. The movie should have been over in 10 minutes. But it kept dragging along. And it was like one of Peter Jackson movies, Lord of the Rings. There was a logical conclusion the first 30 or 40 minutes or even the first hour. It, it was like three points where the movie could have just ended. After the divorce, after they beat his ass up out the house. That was another thing. He should have, he should have got killed. Like the fact that they had a fight scene. She dragged him out the house half half ass dragged him with one arm she's 120 pounds that was stupid because it was like she he, the husband got in a fight with the new boyfriend and that nigga's muscle bound he should have dragged him all the way out the house and threw him out the house she dragged him out the house and then he put him in the car that was stupid like it made no sense to me then after getting his ass kicked he goes down to her job it was unnecessary and on top of all that he, it should have ended in like a bloody shootout or something. He should have went to her job with a gun and shot her in the bank and the police show up. And they should have smoked his ass like they had logical points where they could have just ended this movie. But for some reason, and I think I know why, I think Tyler Perry hates black people because he likes to drag out trauma and pain and like the most dysfunctionality of black people. Not to mention, I don't know what the fuck, where this was like set in what time this was set in and it looked like he was recalling an event that happened in his life because i don't know no niggas that live out in rural georgia <laughs> and travel to the city of georgia uh, atlanta that was in itself stupid it seemed like they was based in alabama but then when they mentioned atlanta downtown atlanta it just threw the whole movie off um then the, the new boy from Benji, the nigga like country music. I don't know no niggas that like country music. So the whole movie was just imagination land. It was unrealistic. And unlike white movies, black people like to see movies that are based and rooted in truth. Like what our day to days are. Even if it is rural black people or people that live out in the sticks. Shit was unrelatable. On every level. So... Even the fact that she got with him, she was smart. She was intellectual. She had a job at the bank. This nigga was a fuck up. They didn't even mention what he did for work. So he was like an unemployed like loser. In reality, no bitches get with niggas like that. Not <laughs> if they do, they street niggas. He wasn't either. So it was just it was just a train wreck of a movie. All the actors were just terrible, in my opinion. Like I said, the only thing that was good in the shit, my man. But he ain't had no speaking parts, so, you know what I'm saying? He got to get to that point. But all these, quote-unquote, seasoned actors, they were trash. Um, That's all I got to say about this shit. Tyler Perry, pick another genre. Trauma-based films is it's old, my nigga. The buffoonery and the trauma-based films, we passed it. It should look like a Lifetime movie. I don't know who's giving him a budget for this bullshit. Any of it, if you'd like to set so you know what to do, and I'm out. No one's